see that something's on the bottom, they're not playing ball today, but yeah, so. <laughs> there's usually loads going on in here all the time. There's always something for me. Good afternoon everyone, it is Erin here for Plymouth Live. I am at the top of the Atlantic Ocean Tank here in the National Marine Aquarium and I'm decked out in my wetsuit as you can see because I am about to get in the tank behind me. It is the UK's largest tank, largest shark tank as well. I hasten to add there are going to be some sharks in there with us in a minute. Uh, the aquarium have just started a new experience program where members of the public can come along and snorkel in this tank with the green turtle, with the sharks and the other fish in there. Um, and we wanted to show you what the experience was actually like firsthand. Um, maybe if you're a little bit too scared to try it yourself, this is the second best thing. And I'm joined by a couple members of the aquarium now who are just going to have a, a quick chat to to explain it in better detail than I can before I am submerged. Let's meet them. Can I just get you to introduce yourself and your role at the aquarium, please? Uh, my name is Marcus Williams. I'm the curator at the National Marine Aquarium. Okay, and? And my name is Carlo Diantale, and I'm the coordinator for the Snorkel Programme. Fantastic. So starting with you, Marcus, why, is, why did this all come about? Uh, well, you know, we're all about people having positive experiences in the marine environment here. Yeah. I learned to love the marine environment because by learning to love it, then you learn how to protect it as well. And what better way to do that than to immerse yourself in the water. And, you know, we've got some amazing animals here, some amazing creatures, a brilliant tank. So it does seem a shame not to share it with the public. Yeah. Have you tried this experience yourself? Do you, I'm know, guessing... do you know what, actually, you know, I dive in the tank a lot, but I haven't actually been in the cave, I haven't been okay. in the pen yet. So, um, no, uh, one day. <laughs> <laughs> one day. And you have been helping people that have it started earlier on this week, this experience yes. program, didn't it? It's so something can... that just started and so far we have a great response. People love it. Some people at the beginning are a little bit anxious because sharks are really misunderstood. They have a really bad reputation. But as soon as they start to see them close, they totally get charmed by them. And it's really great to see how in just a couple of minutes people can change their opinion about something like sharks that yeah. we really need to understand that. Yeah. And the, the experience takes place in, in this cage here. Could you just explain a little bit about the setup and how it works for, for people that get in the tank? All right. Well, this cage is made of a mesh and acrylic, so you can have a really good view around. If you look down, you will see that also the bottom of the cage is transparent, and that's because it's a 360 degree experience, it's three dimensional. You don't have to look only around you, but also under your feet, a lot of stuff can happen. People will just get ready, will get in their wetsuit, yeah. mask, and, mask and snorkel like you are right now, and they will uh, climb in one at a time. They will uh, start to look around. It depends by their interest. If they want to know a little bit more about the biology, on the first part of the experience, I can just give a little thought about what is happening around them, which species are around, and then usually they just get themselves immersed in the magic of this environment. Perfect, right. I'm gonna now put my snorkel on and get ready to get in the tank and I'm gonna put you guys inside a waterproof bag so that hopefully you can see the experience from underwater. So hang fire and uh, we'll see you in a second. Okay, got my snorkel on. I am getting in the tank now. <laughs> Here we go. Am I good to get in? Yeah? yeah. Okay. Perfect. I'll leave so that remember, there for a second. 
hold your hand this. Hold it here, yeah? Yeah. And mind your head. Yeah. Perfect. Turning around. Oh, and I see what you meant about mind my head. Exactly. Also, go down, always yeah. facing the ladder. Oh, it is a little bit chilly, isn't it? I might put that there. <laughs> I'll prioritise my own well-being in this instance. You'll get used to the temperature within about 10 minutes. Actually, yeah, I said that, it's quite nice. I say, it goes all the way up my back. It's just the moment when water comes in. Yeah. yeah. Am I good to just... Yeah? yeah? Good to go. Okay. Friday's waiting for you. Friday's <laughs> waiting for me. Okay, everybody. God, I actually really haven't snorkeled in a long time now. I'm going to forget what to do. Wish me luck. Went a little bit deep there. You show it to me the weight though, we could give you a little bit of weight. I may I may do, I feel quite I feel a bit floating. Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't want to be yeah, so we'll take, we'll <laughs> submerged under the water. about making sure you don't put your fingers through the mesh because Friday is like
just for some context, because I'm sure you're aware we're not live streaming now. This, we're um, stood in the viewing platform area of the Atlantic Ocean Town and the cage, which I was snorkeling from, is just there. So, um, everyone can actually see you when you're snorkeling from the viewing platform. Um, but just kind of puts it into a little bit of perspective so you can see exactly where it all happens. How cool. Okay, right, you've probably guessed I've left the aquarium now. This is the end of our not so live live from the National Marine Aquarium. Obviously, it was a bit too risky to try and do a legitimate Facebook Live inside the tank underwater. Didn't want it to go wrong. I wanted you to be able to see as much as possible. I cannot um, express how good an experience it is being able to see the sharks and the rays and Friday the green turtle up close like that. The experience is running usually kind of twice a day all throughout August to September. Um, started earlier on this week. It is well worth it. Um, and if you want to know more, just head over to the National Marine Aquarium's website and uh, you can read all about it. And I hope you enjoyed this Facebook Live as much as I did. Thanks very much. I'm just going to dry my hair. See you later.